Hey guys, it's Running Kimono. So in today's video, we are going to be talking and giving a quick demonstration on how to take these large candle vases um, that have housed candles from Yankee or Bath and Body Works and how to extract the um, remaining wax to repurpose them to use them for other items um, in your bathroom or if you want to use them to store anything inside of um, these have beautiful glass on them and these um, candle vases are really great to repurpose. So I'm going to show you how specifically I do it um, and usually I wait till I have a couple of them and then I will take the lids off and as you can see there's just like less than an inch left of um, wax inside of these. My favorite are these big Yankee candle vases and I have a kettle here and I am going to fill it up with some water and then heat it up and um, put the boiling water into the vases to get the remaining wax out. And in the meantime, while the wax is uh, boiling on my other um, part of my sink, I put this paper towel down to catch the remaining wax when I pour it out. Um, just a little safety precaution so I don't ruin my sink and a very dull knife I'll also use as a tool. And this is how vigorously you're gonna want your water to boil. So it's gonna be a very vigorous boil. And very carefully, um, you are gonna pour that boiling hot water into each of the vase. And at this point, wait about five minutes. This is some sped up video too because um, this process does take a little bit but you're going to wait like five ten minutes to make sure that the wax starts to float to the top or it becomes very soft and malleable that you can carve it out with um, a, a, the butter knife and just to show you another close-up here um, the wax is really floating um, to the top and I try and it's very very hot um, but as you can see there it's starting to move around a little bit this one was pretty hard though, but the other three, um, the wax had started moving quickly. So now um, with my bare hands, probably should have worn oven mitts. As you can see, that wax didn't even budge. Um, so I have to do a second um, water bath inside of the vase. This one, the wax is completely melted and it's right at the top. A little smarter using some um, oven mitts there and the wax just popped right out. That was a cinch. It depends what kind of, um, when they poured it, the fragrances, there's a whole bunch of variables of why sometimes the wax will really be stuck in there at the bottom. Um, and it also depends to perhaps the glue that they were using for the wick or if it's like um, extra perfume in there. Maybe it's just a harder candle. I don't know. Um, this I'm just using the little butter knife to um, to break it apart for this one. I think it's the, the gingerbread maple um, large candle from Yankee and it was a really nice candle. But yeah, some of them I just have to um, give it another water bath because that wax is not moving and um, there's not much that you can do. You have to just do this process a couple times and, you know, another 10-15 um, minutes, uh, boil it, let it sit, cool down, and then um, dump the, um, the wax. So as you can see, it's starting to move around a little bit more uh, during the second bath. Okay, as you can see, um, this one, the wax is moving around beautifully. Um, it needed two good shots of boiling water and it's finally moving into my wonderful sink here. Um, we are going to be dumping that. Boom, there it is. And everything just fell out of that one and it was just wonderful. And believe it or not, this little tiny um, small candle from Bath and Body Works, um, I was having the hardest time getting that wax out. I don't know. It was like stuck in there. So I had to give it yet another water bath. And then it finally did um, melt on the third shot. But it took forever for this little one. And um, I don't know. It's like they used um, cement or something to keep everything down. And uh, the final um, shot here of me dumping the wax. And there it is. So that one was really tough. Um, I think they must have used some pretty um, heavy duty glue and um, the wax must be really thick for this one candle, the French baguette. So as you can see about um, half an hour later, I take them out, let the vases completely cool off because it's glass. And if you put glass in a colder water, it's gonna crack right away. So you need them to be at room temperature and um, they are looking uh, pretty rough. And this is a top end shot, um, lots of soot, lots of dirt. And um, so what we're gonna do now is um, put them in a bath. The part of my sink that did not have the wax at the bottom, I'm just putting a little bit of dish soap, actually quite a bit of dish soap, um, whichever dish soap you want. I'm using this method one, um, lemony fresh, <laughs> and just filling up my sink. And then I'm popping in the lids. 
Um, this again is sped up video, but for this part, I'm going to say to be really, really careful because if this is you're working with glass and potentially if the two vases should hit hard or clang, you could possibly crack one of them. And I have done that before in the past and there's nothing worse that, you know, you break one or two of these and you're like, oh, because it's a lot of work, um, you know, getting these all together and, um, you know, trying to um, clean them out. Um, it is, this will take you anywhere between two to three hours. It's totally worth it because they are gorgeous faces once they're like cleaned. But um you just don't want to crack them. So just be really, really careful. And I know this is sped up video, so it looks like, uh, you know, I'm doing this at the um, speed of light, but um, that is not the case. And as you can see, um, lots of the wax um, starts coming off. There's a little bit of debris, wax, grease, you name it, it's inside of there because um, these candles have been burnt um, pretty much all winter long. A lot of them are Christmas scents. So what I'm trying to do is just give them a really nice water bath here um, with the, the dish soap and just to try to with my visual eye, try to clean out all the wax and extra things that um, the burning um, or the boiling water didn't um, pull out. And the sponge, you're probably going to go through a couple of sponges, but if you were a couponer, you probably have a stockpile full of them. And um, this is not uh, something that you don't, you probably have quite a few in your stockpile, so it's not um, a big expenditure. Um, but yeah, this does take a lot of time, a little bit of elbow grease, but the payoff is totally worth it because when you can use these for storage, I've had a couple in my bathroom with Q-tips and other goodies inside of it, and I've had them for a couple years, and the Yankee Candle ones seem to hold up really well. I'm not too fancy about the Bath and Body Works ones because even the large one are of a tiny shape, and I mean, I just like the longer, um, large size um, Yankee Candle, so that's why I have so many of them. <laughs> but yeah, just give it this water bath, rinse and repeat. Um, and you can see there's a lot of soot and after this water bath, everything just um, starts to clean up really, really quickly, which is nice to see. And I usually soak it for anywhere between um, 10 to 20 minutes before I start like really scrubbing it too. Um, and so I switched over to some new sponges. I can't emphasize enough, like even go to the Dollar Tree and buy some sponges for this project because you're not going to want to use these sponges for your household food after you're wanting to just throw them out. But um you're just going to need some clean sponges because um, the scouring pad and the actual sponge will grab a lot of the wax and um, it's going to kind of make your sponge useless. And as you can see here, um, the bottom sticker of this little, um, it's starting to pop off of this candle vase, but it's still there. And at this point, now that they've been soaking for 20 minutes, everything starts to peel off um, very care very e without any ease. I mean, it's just really um, looks a lot easier than it is. Some of the Yankee um, labels, there was one for a Christmas scent and I could not get it off. And I will show you here in a, in a second how I got it off. But um, I wish they would just make everything like a sticker and not put the plastic stickers on top because those are much harder to um, peel off. And just with the dull um, butter knife, everything comes off uh, very quickly. And uh, yeah, pretty easy to do. And yep. Yeah. And then this... Um, one on the top. Um, my nails are not very long, but it peels off um, without a lot of ease. I think I peeled um, two of them, didn't have a problem, but the third one, it took like two days of just like working and scraping and putting um, goo gun on it, trying to do this, that, and jump around. Um, it was just harder to take off. But this one, look how easy that is. I wish it was always that easy. Um, I think this is the one that I just struggled with and it just took forever to get that um, label off. And this was a Christmas one too. It's called Bakery Air and it smells a lot like bread. And that is like my favorite scent. Um, and uh, there was a top sticker and it just peeled off um, without any ease. And then the, the one with the dog in front, it took forever to get it off. But yeah, just rinse and repeat. And I probably had soaked these for probably a good 30 minutes. Um, so this is the sort of project that you're going to do. You probably have something else on the go that day, not just this, because there's a lot of waiting around. And um, you don't really need to go out and buy anything. You just need some sponges, some dish soap, hot water, and then this goo gone. This is essential because with these um, vases, there's always like debris and little things that you just can't get off with soap and water. And as you can see, um, the jars that I'm really having issues with, I'm really giving a good spraying to um, some of the... Um, some of the stickers are just really um, hard to get off because they're so greasy and sticky still. But that uh, Goo Gone stuff is fantastic. Costs about $8 over at uh, Walmart. And as you can see, I let them dry for about an hour. And I have some beauty blenders that I bought at TJ Maxx. I think they were like $9 for 10 of them. 
and then um, two of my vases. I'm going to fill them up completely. This is just a gift for a friend. I thought this would make a really special gift to put some beauty blenders in one of these um, containers because, I mean, it, I just think it looks really elegant. Um, another thing I think that would look really cool is a bunch of EOS lip balms. Um, I might do that in my my third one that it's empty but I think that looks just elegant and I actually got all 10 inside of it and this is um, the second one that I'm filling up and uh, yeah I just thought it would be super cute my friend really likes makeup and I thought this would make a super cute little gift um, you know just a little, like a thinking of you sort of thing it cost me probably I think ten dollars for the beauty blenders and like a couple hours and some elbow grease but like look at this final product from where I started you know you'd probably think just to throw out these um, candle vases but you can repurpose them and make them look like I think this looks like a million bucks and it looks really clean so anyhow guys I hope you've enjoyed this video as always thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.